A new shared space in Phoenix is making a home for artists and musicians to cultivate their crafts. The space blooming out of the pandemic when many creatives were forced to pause or even reinvent themselves altogether. Team 12, Jen Wall joining us live this morning. All right, Jen, first of all, she's saying she's not creative. How about some of the amazing live shots that she pulls off every That's single right. morning? <laughs> and Jen, we have I, faith in you. Yeah, and I'm guessing there's plenty of inspiration all yeah. around you there. You got it. So much inspiration. I guess I should clarify with the creative live shots. We got that in the bag. When it comes to a painting, though, grabbing these markers, I can definitely use some help. And here at Brightside Studios, there's so many different options, whether you're a professional artist, a musician, or someone like me who just wants to maybe paint and relax and take up a new hobby. Joining me live this morning is Brad Ken, your owner here at Brightside Studios. So tell us this space and how you came up with the idea. Yeah, thank you. Um, so my wife and I wanted a space where everyday creatives can call their own, uh, can have the supplies at their disposal to create their next masterpiece. So here we have a really large studio, uh, easel set up, uh, paint, paint brushes, all the supplies that you would need. Um, you can come in, have fun. We do, uh, it's sort of like an art gym. So we have day passes, a month pass, or an annual pass. You can come in with your friends or just uh, kind of create by yourself um, and just have a good time. That is so great. So kind of explain to folks the difference between how professional artists might use this, how a musician might use this, and then someone might like me that wants to just take a class for fun. Yeah, so if you're like me, uh, you're not a professional artist, but you like to do it therapeutically. And that's definitely something that we've learned is that people will come in here and they have a lot of different ideas of how they want to use the space. Um, if you're a professional artist, um, this is definitely a space that you want to consider. It can lower your overhead costs. We have a lot of the supplies here for you to use. So if you're, you have an Etsy account that you want to build up your inventory, this is a space that you can do it. If you're a musician, on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, we host the best local talent in Phoenix, um, 7 to 9 p.m. You can come down and check it out. Uh, bring your date or your best friend. I love that. And you can have a glass of wine, maybe some beer, maybe some caffeine if it's early in the morning. All right, we want to show off one of these super cool classes that you can come do right here at the studio. And joining me live now is Rachel Haining, your event coordinator here. Thank you so much. So what are you doing? This is so cool. So this is one of the concepts that we're going to be doing for our June 24th pour and sip, where we focus on pour painting, fluid art, um, just as something kind of fun to do, experience with some different colors, experiment with some different techniques. If you're like me, I'm not much of an acrylic painter, so uh -huh. this is a great alternative. Um, so for this one, this is one of the concepts that we are going to be using for that class on the 24th. Um, so we do beads, you do a white background, and then pour your colors over the beads, and then you just pull the beads off the campus. Would you okay. Like to try? I <laughs> would like to try, and I've been saying all morning long how my painting skills are not quite up to par with the rest of you, so how do I do this? So you can just grab the end of your string and then just pull it off in any sort of fashion that you would oh, like, like off this? the canvas. Yep. Ooh. And you can pull it in any direction. Do you, and then once you pull it off, do you put it back on or do you set you it? You can either put it back on um, and then you'll, either, yep, you okay. can do like so any me, design I'm that you want. Blue. No, that's perfect. But I feel like, oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so what's great about this is because there's already so much fluid on the canvas, you can just lay it back down anywhere you like. And just go. And then just pull. Hey, not much room. Can I go, can I go down the middle or is Absolutely. that going to mess up your flow? No, I feel like. For it. Okay. There's no wrong way to do this. Okay. That's right. what's so good about it. <laughs> I'm going to go down the middle. Up, right? Okay, Rachel, you were also telling us that there are classes for kids. See, no, that is not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. So no, it is beautiful. It there's no some more way work. to you do this incorrectly. Like, that's what's so fun about it is there's so many different ways you can do it. Okay. And... It's beautiful. See, and then you come out, and Rachel is so kind, and when she's doing the classes, you get to have a lot of encouragement when you do something like this in the middle of stunning artwork, guys. We like it, Jen. <laughs> Bring it back to 12 News. How we'll much we'll you put want it on display. that right now. Yeah, she just needs to work on it a little more. I think it looks great.